Hey, exciting news. Facebook has instituted a brand new lead center where you can keep track of all of your leads and it acts like a mini CRM. Does it replace the need to have a CRM? Inside today's video, I'm gonna give you a thorough tour of the lead center and talk about whether you still want a CRM or not. Check this out. Hey everyone, Kevin Small with 2Q Lead Generation Strategies. If you are brand new to our channel, welcome. We're glad you're here. What we're all about is helping real estate agents just like you generate more leads, set more appointments, and close more transactions. So if you want more tips, more tricks, more strategies on how to do that, this is absolutely the best place to be. Please consider subscribing. We'd love to have you here as part of our community. In today's video, what we're gonna be talking about is we're gonna be talking about how the new Facebook Lead Center works and whether it actually replaces a traditional CRM that a lot of you would probably use to run your business. Now, as I go through this, um, it's also kind of, <laughs> I'm kind of assuming you know what a lead generation ad is, how to set one up. If you don't know how to do that, I'll put a link to a tutorial right here. Um, I've covered that on other videos, you can go check that out. Today's video is gonna be specifically about the lead center and how that works. So with that being said, let me just go ahead and uh, I'm gonna share my screen and we'll jump right into this. So the way that you'll be able to access the lead center is when you come to your Facebook page with the new Facebook format, um, over here on the left-hand side, there's this section called lead center. And when you click on that, it's gonna take you to a page like this. Now I've shrinked down the names and emails and phone numbers so that we're not, um, you know, we're not putting out informa uh, people's information. And uh, I'm also gonna turn off my camera because there's gonna be some stuff that'll pop up down here. But you'll notice that um, once you come in and you turn this on and activate it, um, all of the leads that you have generated from your Facebook lead ads will be stored here. So as you've done lead generation campaigns where there's a form that's popping up that's collecting data, that will pop up here. So as you can see with the ones that we've done, we've been capturing name, email, and phone number. Those are stored here, but like I said, I've just shrunk it down so that you can't see it. And then the name of the form that we've used to generate the leads pops up in this category or this column here, and, uh, and then it gives you the stage. So the whole concept here is being able to use the lead sender as a database. It used to be in the past that um, when you would generate a lead using a lead generation campaign on Facebook, Facebook would not notify you that you have a brand new lead. Once you have the lead center turned on and, and you've got all your leads coming in here, Facebook actually notifies you every time that you have a brand new lead. It'll say, uh, you know, you'll get an email notification that says new lead available for and then the name of the page. So that's the first thing that the lead center is doing that's super valuable is giving you that lead notification. You used to have to have um, your CRM be the part that was notifying you. So you would have to set up like through zapier.com where uh, you had a zap that was taking the lead information from Facebook, moving it to another platform. And then typically the way that our clients were getting notified that they had a new lead was through that new platform. So that's one way that, I mean, that's the way that you used to have to do it. Now, Facebook with this lead center is taking a step towards being a CRM and uh, being able to notify you that you have a brand new lead, super, super helpful. The next thing that it's doing is it's got these different categories. So you see where we've got raw leads and in progress and interested, converted. So you can come in and change the status of these and basically use it like a funnel. So one of the things that um, I teach my clients all the time is this funnel concept where you've got the top of the funnel, people that have respond or people that have, you know, filled out one of the lead forms, but they haven't really done much. And then you got the next level down, like middle of the funnel where people are, you know, having conversations, they may be two months out or something like that. And then you've got the bottom of the funnel, the people that are ready right now that are, you know, they're active people that you're currently working with. And so we will have these different concepts of top of the funnel, bottom of the, you know, middle of the funnel, bottom of the funnel. And essentially you can use this for the same thing. Right, so these would the raw leads would be the top of the funnel, people that have um, 
become a lead. Then you've got your in progress leads, middle of the funnel, you're interested, the ones you're currently working with. And then, you know, once you're done, obviously you would move them to convert it. And so it allows you just to be able to track. Now, um, you'll also notice when you click on a specific lead, you've got information up there. But the first section down is it allows you to add a label. So labels are just different ways that you can categorize information. So let's say this person responded to a campaign for a home that was, um, let's say it was a Rambler, right? So you, could, you can create different labels and add as many labels as you want to these individual records. So it's just a way of categorizing and segmenting certain information. So that's what you would use these labels for is just to categorize things. Lead management, you'll notice that you can actually assign leads to specific people. So this is great news if you're running a real estate team. You can have everybody on your team um, you know, as part of this uh, lead follow-up and you can assign leads to various people for them to work. They can come in, you know, change the status of the lead, whether it's, uh, again, any of these different categories, they can change that. And then the other thing that's really cool is that you can schedule a reminder. So you can say, uh, check on um, list of homes. So let's say you sent someone a list of homes and you say, well, in two days later, you know, I want to follow up with them on September 2nd. You can go ahead and put in the time and then hit save. So not only does that track that inside here, but I ran a test of one a little bit ago just prior to shooting this uh, video. Oh, sorry, I haven't been sharing my screen. There we go. So again, you can come in here. Um, so I was talking about the labels. Uh, here's the label section where you can go ahead and put in um, you know, I give you the example of Rambler. So you can just come in and hit enter. Now that you've got this tag that you can use on any of this uh, or this uh, label that you can use on any of these different leads. Here's the lead management where you can assign the lead to someone, change the stage <clears throat> and then set a reminder. So if I were to put this in for, you know, September 2nd at this time and then save that reminder, not only is that going to show up in here, but I ran a test before recording this video. And you'll notice right here, I got a reminder on Facebook. And because the reminder popped up on, on Facebook, you know, I also got the reminder on my phone. And so that is, uh, again, super valuable way to be able to make sure that lead follow up is happening. Um, I'm going to go ahead and delete that. But that's that's what the reminders are for. Uh, and then down here is the notes section. This is basically just like any other CRM where you can leave notes. You know, they're looking for a three bed, two bath home in Sandy, etc. right? So you can leave whatever note you wanna leave in here and it just gives you, you know, again, it's acting like a CRM. So um, here it's showing you the form that they filled out, which in this case is their contact information. So again, there's, there's a lot of basic features in here to where Facebook is starting to turn towards a CRM. So is it a good idea and should you use this to replace your CRM? Um, one last thing up here is you can add leads. So you can create a lead. So you can put a lead in here and track it, um, which is nice. Or you can also upload leads. So if you have a spreadsheet, you can take that spreadsheet, upload it here and uh, have your leads imported for, again, the purpose of follow up. So with all of that being said, um, you know, a lot of the questions are going to be, um, does it make sense? Uh, so this, the settings here, this is where you would add in, you know, your different, uh, your different people that you would want to give permissions to and et cetera, et cetera. But so with all of that being said, right, let's get back to the question at hand. Does it replace the need for a CRM? My honest opinion is no, it doesn't. I mean, it certainly helps. Um, like there's some basic info, you know, some basic features that are going on here that will make it so that there are some low level CRM functions that are happening inside um, the lead center. So it provides a notification that you have a brand new lead, which is super helpful. It used to not do that. Um, you can set follow-ups and Facebook will remind you of that. Also, that used to not exist. 
Um, so again, it's moving towards that, but what you're not getting with this specific, um, what you're not getting with this specific campaign or with this process is any kind of lead follow-up, right? Everything is still manual. So the fact that Facebook is putting it all here in the lead center, there's not text messages going off. There's not emails. There's not phone calls, right? All of that is still completely dependent on you. So the only follow-up that's going to happen is whatever follow-up you're doing. What Facebook is providing is a place for that to happen. So in my opinion, does it replace a CRM? No. Um, one of the other things is that, um, you know, the lead data in here, it's only, you know, if, if somebody is in the raw leads section, um, Facebook's got a notice on here that says that... Um, the lead data is only good for 90 days. So if you don't move it off of raw leads, then that data is going to go away. Now you can export the data that's in here. You can still have it go to another system and all of that is fine. Um, I do have a, a lot of times people say, well, Kevin, do you have a CRM that you recommend? Um, there's a lot of them out there and they, you know, it kind of just depends on what your needs are. But one that I really like is Lion Desk. It's a, it's a real estate specific CRM. Um, they have an automated integration with your Facebook leads. So the Facebook leads can come directly in without any need for a third party system to integrate the two. That's a big deal. Um, they have texting campaigns. They have email campaigns. You can build your own, download more. There's all kinds of features inside Lion Desk that I make. I think it's a great platform. Is it perfect? Does it do everything? No. Um, but if you want to get some information about that, I'll put a link down below. I do have, um, I am an affiliate of them. So if you use them, great. I get a commission. If you don't, that's fine too. <laughs> You're, it's not a requirement. But um, anyway, I'll put a link to that down below. The reason why you might want to sign up using that link is you do get a 10% um, discount if you do that over the, the normal price. Um, and so it does give you uh, a lot of features that are really helpful for the real estate industry. So if you want Lion Desk, uh, again, go check that out. It's a great platform. But uh, Facebook is moving in the right direction, but I don't think it completely replaces the need for a CRM yet based on you know what's currently available. So hopefully that video was helpful, but just the mere fact that they're notifying you of leads and giving you a place for the follow-up to happen, that's a huge step ahead of where it used to be. So uh, again, kudos to Facebook. We're moving the right direction, but uh, in order for it to replace a CRM, there just needs to be more functionality and specifically um, you know, follow-up abilities. That's one of the huge things that's missing. So um, hopefully that was valuable. If so, take a split second, click that thumbs up button down below. That helps us tremendously. Uh, also, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, <laughs> please consider subscribing. Uh, we put out more videos every single week, more ways to grow your business. So click that subscribe button. If you click the bell notification, you'll be notified every time we put out brand new content. Uh, also, I will put up a couple of more videos right here. Just more ways for you to continue learning and growing your business. Um, aside from the uh, Lion Desk link, make sure you look down in the description. You'll see a link for a two hour free masterclass that we offer that shows you the ins and outs of how we're generating leads, turning them into appointments and closing deals. So make sure you check that out, it's totally free. And then also if you're interested in having us work with you to do those things, you wanna hire us, uh, I'll put some information down below, you can check that out. Uh, that wraps up everything, so thanks for being here. Make it a great week, keep crushing it in your real estate business and uh, we'll talk to you soon, take care.